Alright, so we're going to be installing our swing arm back onto the Honda. So first thing we need to do is take our collar here and we're going to grease it up and then insert it back into the swing arm itself. So we're just going to put a nice coating all the way down. And then that's going to slide right into here on our swing arm. Now next thing we need to do is we have these little dust seals. We're just going to take a dab of grease on them and that's going to hold it right in place on our swing arm. Then we'll go ahead and do the same with the other side. Alright, so our swing arm is pretty much ready to go back onto the bike. Um, you can see here, this is the hole that our um, axle bolt is going to go through for the swing arm. And it's going to go all the way through to the other side there and come out and then we're going to put the nut on it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, the last thing we need to do before we put our swing arm on is we've got the bolt right here and we're also just going to put a little bit of grease on that give it a nice coating also so it slides freely through the cup. Now we will take our swing arm and it's just going to go right in here between these two holes slide in there and let's take our bolt Slide that through. So the last thing we need to do here is put the washer and nut on our swing arm bolt. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now that that's on, we will just go ahead and torque it. The book tells us that the torque value for this is going to be 40 to 51 foot-pounds, so we're going to go with 45. We'll put our wrench over here, put our torque wrench on. Alright, there it is, our swing arm is back on the bike, all we need to do now is install our shocks, and we're good to go.